All right, everyone, this is Aaron, and this is my Promethean way. Here's your tip of the day. Got a bit of a formula up here. It's agility, stability, power, strength. Here's the abbreviations, AGL, STB, PWR, and STR. You always want to train agility and stability before you train for power and strength. So how will you do this? Here's a good tip for leg day. Agility and stability. Agility will be box jumps. Stability, BOSU squats or BOSU lunges when one foot's on the BOSU or just standing on a BOSU and squatting down. You want to have a test of your stability. Power would be something like a barbell back squat with a butt ton of weight on it. And you want to go for uh, an explosive, like how much, you know, how fast, how hard you can do it. And then strength. Strength can be rated either by endurance or just simply a one rep max. So you want to do agility, stability before power and strength. That'll make sure that you get all the muscle fibers woken up. Now, just in the car ride on the way to the club, you can shut down almost 80% of your nervous system receptors. 80%. So, just in the car ride over to the club, 80% of the nervous system receptors can be shut off. So, when we train agility and stability, you turn them back on or else you only have 20% of your nervous system receptors in your legs, if you're training legs, for power and strength, which means you only get about a 20% result. So the best thing to do when you get into the club is to understand that this is likely the case for your chest, your back, your arms, your shoulders, whatever you're working that day, your legs. You're gonna come back and you do some agility and stability. Upper body days, battle rope is a really great way to go to loosen your whole upper body. And then you can worry about your power lifting and your strength lifting. Okay, so again, AGL with STB, parenthetically, you solve that first before you go to power and strength, okay? So let's learn a few lessons and don't come into the club cold because you're losing 80% of your overall ability when you come in cold, okay? So no more cold lifting. Get out there, stretch and train. Do it the right way. This is my Promethean way. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up, share, comment. Get it out there. Let's change some lives.